I consider it a very important part of the interim presidency here to uh, continue to build upon the legacy that Dr. Kopp left. Um, I think that, that one need only to look around the campus to see uh, what he accomplished over his nine and a half years here. Uh, so I feel a deep sense of responsibility uh, to protect that legacy. Uh, beyond that, um, I think it's extremely important that we keep Marshall moving forward, that we, that we are good stewards of the uh, resources that we have available to us, that we continue to build upon Dr. Kopp's initiative um, to examine our finances in the face of continually declining state resources and look internally at ways that, that we can sustain ourselves ourself financially. And of course, overarching all of that is uh, the safety of our students and the quality of education that we provide and they receive here at Marshall. Those are, those are the objectives that, that I want to focus on. For 25 years or so, I ran uh, Mr. Harless's company's International Industries. We had locations in seven states and offices in four or five foreign countries. Very large business. I was CEO of those of that company. Uh, so I bring uh, more than 40 years of senior management experience, about two thirds of that as CEO. Um, but I also bring uh, a history of uh, governance in higher education. Uh, I served on the transition board that uh, uh, the legislature created when they converted from the Board of Trustees in Charleston to each institution having a Board of Governors. I was on that transition board and then Governor Underwood appointed me to the first Board of Governors of Marshall University and I served uh, on that board for two full terms in addition to the transition term. And part of that service was as chairman of the Board of Governors. Um, since that time, I also have served uh, on the Board of Trustees of what's now the University of Pikeville. And um, most recently, in 2013, Governor Tomlin appointed me to the Higher Education Policy Commission. So I bring a pretty strong background of governance of higher education. Because of my long association in various capacities from student to governance uh, with Marshall University over the last 20 years, um, most of the senior staff here are people that, that I know very well and people who know me very well that were, that came to Marshall during the time I was on the board or, or during uh, the period of time that, that it, we've just discussed. So I think I bring a comfort factor. I'm a known quantity to them, they're a known quantity to me. I have uh, the greatest respect and confidence in, in the senior vice president team here as a team and individually. So I think that, uh, I think it, all of that combined uh, will uh, hopefully allow me to be successful uh, and allow us to be successful as we, as we go about the process of finding a new president for the university. Coming back to campus in this capacity, something I never imagined would occur. So that in and of itself is exciting, but uh, I'm soon to be 65 years old, so uh, being here and being able to interact with the students and uh, 
and, and really uh, being able to, to use whatever skills and talents I have in a new direction is, is exciting, it's challenging, it's, uh, it's something that, uh, that I don't take lightly, but uh, I, believe, uh, I believe this is something that, uh, that I'm really going to enjoy. I consider myself to be a pretty average guy. Um, I'm, I'm not an athlete, I, I wasn't an athlete, but uh, I enjoy, Joanne and I uh, enjoy the water. Uh, we, we are boaters. Um, I, uh, I love to fish. And uh, in my spare time, and I used to have some, I won't for the next six months or so, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a car collector and restorer, so I have a, a little collection of uh, some classic cars and enjoy do most of the work myself and you know, occupy my spare time doing that. I think that, that our folks need to understand that it's certainly my objective, and I absolutely believe it's the objective of the Board of Governors to find the best person available to lead Marshall into the future and, and accept nothing less.